and now that's something that I, I kid with other people when they when they come out is like, you know, when I came out, I got a call from the president. Who called you? <laughs> kind of thing. I'm Jason Collins and I'm a black gay man. So I think a lot of people out there know my coming out story. I was on the cover of Sports Illustrated. That was my public coming out, but I came out privately when I was 33 years old. When I was dealing with the, all of these issues, this angst of living in the closet and being afraid and having that stress, I always had basketball as my outlet, just channel everything, anger, frustration, every emotion into basketball. And um, my routine got disrupted during the 2011 NBA lockout. I didn't have basketball. I, I couldn't go back to work. Um, I was training with a new trainer. His name is Keith Anthony, and I suspected that he was gay, but I didn't know for sure. But then I went on the internet, put on my detective hat, and Googled his name, and sure enough, um, and it, a video for It Gets Better uh, that he did uh, came up. And uh, his words, uh, when he was sharing his story, just really spoke to my heart. And even though uh, he went to Cal Berkeley, I went to Stanford, I was like, all right, I'm gonna I'm trust this uh, Cal Berkeley guy <laughs> and uh, share my story with him. I wrote him an email and about an hour after I hit send, <laughs> uh, a friend calls me and tells me that the NBA lockout is over and that I'm gonna go back to work and aren't you excited? And I was like, yes, and then I was like, what the heck did I just do? <laughs> I just, am I gonna see this email that I sent on SportsCenter? And uh, when he finally did respond, he said, look, let's meet a uh, person you know, face to face. That was the first time that I ever said the words out loud that I am a gay man. He told me that, okay, it's, you know, it's great that I've taken that first step, but you gotta start building your support system. And you gotta start telling you know, some family members. So that was on a Thursday. And then that Saturday, I told my aunt. She was a family member. I think she always knew that I was gay, but um, she was always kind of dropping hints that it was okay. A few years before I came out, I was engaged to a woman and um, very thankful that, you know, we didn't get married because it would we would have been getting married for the wrong reasons. And ever since then, when my aunt was asking about my personal life, she would use gender neutral pronouns about asking how my relationships were going. And I knew what she was doing, but I wasn't ready. And it took me until I was 33 years old, 2011, to you know, finally build up the courage to come out to her and to come out to, uh, to my friend Keith. And after that season was over, I came out to more of my family members, my parents, my twin brother. Um, and I remember calling my agent, uh, Arn Tellum, and he's like, Jason, is everything okay? And I said, yeah, everything's fine, but I need to tell you, I'm gay. And I wanna make a public announcement. And Arn, um, you know, he was, he took a beat, took a pause, and he's like, Jason, I love you. Uh, you're like a, a son to me. and." you know, we'll figure out a plan for how to make this announcement and make this happen. And Arn was the one who came up with the idea of using Sports Illustrated as the vehicle to tell my story. And once the story broke, just seeing and hearing the response from so many people, overwhelmingly supportive. And then that's when things sort of got surreal. My phone started ringing and I saw that it said uh, unknown number. So I answer it and a woman identifies herself and she says, can you hold for the president? And then sure enough, President Obama gets on the phone and you, you, you know his voice, it's very distinct. And he just says to me just how proud he was of me and how my actions were gonna have an impact on someone that I might not ever meet in my lifetime. And just very surreal moment. In this photo, um, this is me right here. I am around 16 years old, and this is my twin brother, Jaron, and we are posing in our um, Harvard Westlake High School uh, basketball uniforms. I would say to this guy, um, everything's gonna be okay. I lived with a lot of stress and with a lot of um, uncertainty and a lot of anger, all the emotions that you can go through and just 
know that it's gonna be it's gonna be okay. 